Hey there, welcome back to another Permaslug episode. My name is Jonathan, and today what I wanted to do is show you how you can create custom drop-down menus in Oxygen using the plugin called Oxy Power Pack. So let's say you have a site like this where the logo is centered in the middle and you have the left and right text links here, but you wanna have a drop-down element. The only way you could achieve that in Oxygen is by either using two menu elements, which is less than ideal, or kind of custom coding it yourself without something like Oxy Power Pack. So in this particular example, if I hover over About Us, you can see I have this drop-down element here that kind of appears, and that comes from the Oxy Power Pack plugin. So there's a bunch of stuff built in, and a super cool thing is this interactivity engine, which is a topic for another video. But specifically, what I wanted to do is show you what they call popovers. Now a popover in this case is what we're looking at here that I'm calling a custom dropdown more or less, but the popover can be used on just about anything. So if you hovered over one of these icons and you wanted to give more detail, for instance, you could hover over the 100% guarantee and maybe it gives you some more text specifically on what that is. But in this case, I wanted to show you how you can use it to create a custom dropdown. So if I move over here to the Oxygen Editor and I expand my structure pane, you can see we got a couple things going on. So I have this main section here that contains all of my links and my logo. And if I expand that, I have a couple of divs, one on each side containing my text links, and then this image. I'm gonna expand this leftmost div here that contains these other links, and you'll notice inside of that, I have a div that contains my dropdown. What's really cool about this is you can set up the div to be formatted in whatever way you want. You can style it however you want, and then it's basically just hidden by the plugin until you do the action that you tell it to appear. So in this case, under the About Us button, I made sure that I had my ID selected instead of the class. So I clicked on ID, I go to the Advanced tab, and with Oxy Power Pack installed, there's a new button here called Edit Popover. Now the controls for configuring how this pop-up appears uh, will feel relatively similar. There's a lot here kind of on the surface, but it's really straightforward when you dig into it. Under the content type, you can either set this to be text or an HTML element. And if you're familiar with the selector that you might choose for a modal, what kind of activates the modal, it's the same exact thing. So you're gonna click choose here. And then I went over here and clicked on this div that contains my text links for the dropdown. And then now it's gonna automatically trigger that popover whenever I hover over this text link. And then it's gonna activate that div. Now by default, the content behavior move selected element into the popover is what we want. You don't even have to bother doing display none on that div, and I would imagine that might actually complicate it. So although the formatting in the back end here doesn't look super clean, it doesn't matter because it looks perfectly fine on the front end. You have quite a few different animations to play with here. The arrow is in reference to that little arrow that you see right on the top of this, so you could either turn that on or off. And then by default, this theme here is set to none, so it makes it like this black background and it's kind of hard to read. But if you choose light, then you get the effect with the box shadow behind it. And then if you choose translucent, then you can choose the styling in your div. So you would set the div's background color to white, set the box shadow to whatever you want, the border, etc. So that gives you a lot of flexibility to make your custom popover look exactly like you want it. All right, so let's go ahead and delete this stuff. And then I'm gonna walk through how we would do this basically from the start. Okay, so we probably need to go into this text link here and under the edit popover, we want to go ahead and delete that. Let's save this and then take a look on the front end and I wanna make sure that that popover is completely gone so we can set it up from scratch. Perfect, that is exactly what we want. So let's go back to the visual editor here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is next to this text link, let's go to add. We're gonna go back to the basics tab and choose div. In this div, I'm gonna add in a text link and I had a class for my text links. I think I called it header links. I actually can't remember, so let's go take a look at our selectors on this site. I called it header links mobile. Okay, so we're gonna call this class header links, and then we're gonna add another one, header links mobile, because I was using stacked classes. Let's just call this one like our locations. We'll duplicate a couple of these out, so this one will be our story. We'll do another one called our team and then let's do one more like policies or something like that something really boring and corporate all right so then on the header links mobile i want some margin underneath these 15 pixels is too much let's go like eight pixels and then on this div itself i'll go back to the structure pane so you can see where i'm at on this div itself i'm going to add some padding let's go 25 pixels top and bottom and then 15 left and right this last most text link has a bunch of extra margin there. So let's go to this text link on the bottom. 
advanced size and spacing, we'll set that margin to zero. And now we still haven't set up our pop-up trigger. So if we save and take a look on the front end here, you're just gonna see that div out there just hovering in the middle of our page, which looks terrible and not what we want. So we'll go back here, click on your about us link or whatever text link you're working with and make sure you have the ID selected. So of course I have a class on this, but I'm gonna choose the ID specifically. Then go to the advanced tab, choose create popover. Under the content type, I'm gonna change this to HTML element. Under the element option here, I'm gonna select this div. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky. So if you can't select it, what you can do is just click on the div, select this whole thing. We'll go back to our text link here, edit popover. And then you can basically just paste that in. You just make sure you, know, you put the little pound sign in front of it. The content behavior by default, like I already told you, is move selected element into popover, which is perfectly fine. I'm gonna change the animation to, I don't know, like shift toward, I've never played with that. Arrow, I'm gonna leave enabled, placement top is good. Max width, you could certainly change that if you want to. Trigger mouse hover is good. You can also change that to click, which is pretty cool. And then the theme, I'm gonna to change to translucent. Let's save and close. And then we're gonna to go to our div here and set a background color of white. Let's go ahead and save this. And then let's go take a look on the front end. All right, so if we hover over about us, the colors look a little bit off, but it certainly works. I'm perfectly happy with that. So what I'm gonna do is actually go back to my popover here, go to edit popover, and then I'm just gonna change this theme back to light. Or actually, let's go material and see what that looks like. Save this, refresh again. So still pretty much the same thing. Um, you can kind of play with that. I'm just gonna go back to edit popover and change the theme back to light, save and close save, and then we can refresh on the front end. All right, so yeah, that looks perfectly fine. That was kind of a drop down that I would expect. Okay, so let's set up some mobile responsive stuff here. So I'm just going to drop this down a bit. Let's say at less than 992, everything is gonna stack, and then it will all be centered. It looks like because of a class maybe that I had set up earlier, things are not quite appearing properly. So we're gonna to go to our text links and then probably under header links, layout is set to display none. So let's go back to flex for that. And then this all looks pretty terrible in this view, but I'm not really too concerned with that. I just wanna see what the functionality looks like on mobile. I'm gonna take this leftmost div here and I'm gonna add some margin underneath that to get it away from the logo. And then I don't care about these right now because I'm not working with that. So let's go ahead and click on save. Then in the front end here, let's refresh. And then we're gonna take a look using the Chrome inspect tool. And this is new to me. I'm not 100% sure what this is gonna do when we switch it down to a mobile device size. So if I click about us, it doesn't quite work how I want it to. So I'm gonna take a look on my real phone and see how that works. Interestingly, I wish I could show you this, but on my real phone, it actually works perfectly. So just like you would expect, the About Us popover comes up perfectly. It shows all the links in the same styling that we just set up, and it actually kind of overlays the logo and the other links beneath it, which is really cool. So one thing you might wanna consider is not using a text link for the actual button you're gonna use as a trigger, because what I'm noticing on my phone is I get a little loading bar, like the page wants to refresh, but it's not going anywhere. So it does work perfectly fine. In the Chrome Inspect tool, this obviously doesn't work as you would expect, but maybe it's to do with the fact that I just said that this is actually a text link. So let's play with this. We're gonna go to text, and then I'm gonna call this about us. Uh, I can set the same class here, so header links. And then I'm gonna delete this one here because that one's a text link as compared to just a regular text element. And then on this one, we're gonna go switch to our ID, go to advanced, create popover, change the HTML element to our div that we've been working with. And then we're gonna set the theme to light, save and close, save the oxygen editor. And then let's go back to the front end here and refresh. And then does this work? Perfect, so there it is. So that, that's something good to know that you don't wanna use a text link if the intent is to create kind of a dropdown for a main menu like this. That's something new that I learned and hopefully that's helpful for you. So in addition, I'm clicking the about us and that's not closing the popover, but if I click the background or anywhere else outside of that button, that trigger, then it does go away, which is pretty cool. So as you can see, this is an extremely useful tool to have in your arsenal. This plugin does so much more than just create popovers. There's all kinds of stuff. So definitely take a look at this plugin. And again, it's called Oxy Power Pack. There's an entire other side to this plugin that I haven't even explored. And it looks really great. So I would definitely recommend you get this.
Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in a future video.